Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today I'm here with my good buddy Darren. We did a video on uh, the worst diesels, best diesels. It got a lot of hits. People li liked it a lot. Um, they made fun of you saying uh, Cummings. Cummings. Cummings with Cummings. a G at the end. Cummings with a G. <laughs> he knows how to say it. And he knows how to work on those trucks. So don't get him wrong. He, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, he's he also, part Mexican, right? right? So it is com <laughs> Cummings. Right. Cummings. Exactly. <laughs> it's way easier to say than Cummings. And we I have can a, say because I'm Mexican. <laughs> the comedian guy here, yeah. Arnie Viarel. Oh, with that old Detroit? Yeah. Yeah, that was a great story. So this guy comes in, there's this old Detroit lumber truck that had been sitting there forever, man. And, and so I was just new and I had a little tow company and we owned like two or three trucks and I was trying to learn the business and how to fix these trucks. And this truck looked like he'd been sitting there a hundred years, right? And this old man comes in, diesel mechanic, mobile, and he says, I'll get the thing running. And I said, there's no way that truck runs, bro. There's no way you make that thing run. I don't know anything about anything, but there's no way you're going to make that run. He goes, no, I will. So he drains all the coolant, drains all the fuel, puts some new fuel filters on it, does whatever. And 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 I'm like, you know the starter probably doesn't work. He goes, I don't need the starter to work. So huh. he puts the dump truck, he puts it in low gear, and there's a big bulldozer in the yard. And he just hooked a chain to it, left it in low gear, and drug it until it started. You know, he just kept dragging it in gear and finding that thing cranked over, and it started running. And it coughed a little bit or whatever, but you know, the old Detroit's, they I really, really slow. Like, I don't even know what the RPMs were, 400, maybe less, and just low. And he just looked at me as like, see, young man? Like, that's amazing. The gasoline, you couldn't do that. You could not do that with a gasoline car. If it's out there 20 years, so there's no So he basically no way. told you, yeah. smash the pebble. Right, he and did. It's time for you to he, he did, he <laughs> did, so man. Smart. This guy was so smart. I mean, like, he knew stuff about everything. Dang. Like, he knew about so, yeah, yeah. tractors and everything. And I would just sit there, and he was super quiet. And you'd watch him work. And, you know, because he'd work, like, the, the heavy equipment was in my yard, but it wasn't my, my equipment. So I had my tow trucks there, and then another guy, he, he paid me to store his equipment there. And so he'd bring his mobile mechanic in, and you know, I'd try to like, whenever I had a problem, I'd run this, buy this home. Anyways, this guy was just amazing. And, wow. and, and the fact that it would start. So back then, John, I bet you could have ran straight, and he's the one who told me, you can run this on transmission fluid. And I didn't, I didn't believe him. He goes, I don't care what we have. We don't have enough diesel here. If you got some ATF, and you got this or that, we'll dump it in there, it runs. Made it run. Good grief. But. You learn as you go, right? Yeah.